Alright, so in this problem, we're supposed to use implicit differentiation to find these partial derivatives. Now, when you used to do implicit differentiation with an uh, equation that only had x and y, two variables, all you had to do was find dy over dx. And the way you would do this is you would differentiate everything with respect to x. Now, it's a bit different when you do partial, but it's sort of the same type of thing. The way I see it is you want to differentiate with respect to this bottom variable. And since it's a partial, what you do is you just treat the other variable as a constant. So for dz over dx, what you would do is you differentiate with respect to x and treat y as a constant, and then vice versa for dz over dy. So let's try it out. Differentiating this with respect to x, you would get 2xy. This with respect to x, you'd first take the derivative of this, so plus cosine z. But then since this isn't x, you have to tack on a dz over dx. And this isn't the same thing as dz over dx. Notice the fancy uh, d here. That means it's a partial fraction. And you can lose points on that sometimes. All right, now taking uh, the derivative of this with respect to x, we just get y cosine y e to the xy. Now we want to isolate dz over dx. So we move everything to the other side. So cosine of z times dz over dx equals y cosine y e to the xy minus 2xy. And then you can just divide both sides by cosine z to get what delta z over delta x is. So y cosine y e to the xy minus 2xy over cosine z. So that is your partial with respect to x. And then we just do the same process for the partial with respect to y. So we take this derivative with respect to y, that would just be x squared, plus cosine of z dz over dy equals x e to the xy cosine y plus e to the xy times negative sine y. So our dz over dy is on this side, so let's move this x squared to the other side. And then let's distribute the negative minus x squared. And then we just divide both sides by cosine z to get our partial. And that's how easy it is to find partial derivatives using implicit differentiation. The important distinction here is if you ever have a function where you can't really set something equal to z, like in this case, you'd have to do arc sine, it would just be really gross garbage. What you do is you use implicit differentiation. Sometimes problems won't tell you explicitly to use implicit differentiation, but in this situation where you can't necessarily isolate z on one side to take its derivative, this is what you do. Ooh, it's the end screen. Click on one of these links to be directed to that playlist. And don't forget to subscribe!